Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have the pleasure of unboxing my brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro and the Fly Market. So much excitement. So let's get on with it. So, 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 so. We'll open this first. Ooh, how do we get into it? Oh, they always have these mad stickers on them. Oh, here we are. So, inside we have, believe it or not, a DJI Mini 3. And there it is. What else do we have in the box? We have the controller. Whoa, I'm very excited about this, by the way. It means I don't have to use my phone all the time. Did you hear the creaking floorboards then? <laughs> and that's about it. We've got this little box. Don't think there's anything else in there. Away. What's in the box? Instructions. Well, I'm not used to that. We'll have a look through that later. Little screwdriver. Fasten the blades on. And some spare prop blades there. So, that's quite good. Apparently, you can open the wings. I'm going to call them wings. They're not wings, they're props anywhere you like. So you can do the front or the back first. There you go. Let's have a look at the size. So it does seem a little bit bigger than the Mini 2. Not loads bigger but you know I've only got little hands. I've only got women's hands. Let's have a look. We'll pop the controller over here for now. No, he's the Mini 2. With the Mini 2 you have to open it front first. So, there's quite a bit of difference. Let's go back to back. Well, yeah, if you look that way, you can see it's quite a bit bigger. But apparently quieter, so we will see. We'll pop that one down there. We'll pop that one there. And we'll have a look what's in the fly market. I'm going to use scissors on this because I haven't got very big nails. Or fish biscuits as we call them in this house for some unknown reason. Well, there's a reason but I'm not going to tell you. So, first of all, we've got a bag. Pop that down there. But what's in the bag you're asking? Well, let's have a look. This is the important part of the kit, really. You get a battery charger. If I can get into it. And two extra batteries. We'll have a look at the batteries in a minute. And this looks like some spare props as well. Maybe there's somewhere else. That's just in for. Right, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, there we go. We have a charger cable. And some more spare props. But if we manage to break them, if we crash, I'm not going to crash them. Hopefully. <laughs> And of course this one, this one has got the sensors on as well, so it will uh, help me not crash. So I believe these are the sensors there. And we've got some sensors on the bottom as well. And then the sensors on the front. So at least that will stop me crashing into things that way, that way, and that way. However, they don't have them on the side. 
so it won't stop me crashing that way or that way. But just have to use my eyes for that one. Hopefully. Right, let's have a look at the batteries. So these are the new ones. A little bit bigger than the old ones on the Mini 2, so you can see. But apparently you're supposed to get 33, 35 minutes flight. Well, I'm guessing you won't get that. Probably more like 22 to 25 minutes. We'll see though, we'll have a test. So that's exciting. I'll just go back in, not that way, really idiot. And of course, there's already a battery inside, which just works different as well. So you just squeeze the sides and pull it out, and there's the other battery. Whereas on the Mini 2, you have to actually lift the flap. Pop it in that way and close it. So I think that's it just about. Um, I can't tell you any more until I've tried it and I need to charge the batteries. I don't suppose there'll be any charge in it. I'm sure there's a button on that you can press somewhere which will tell you. Yeah, there's no charge in them whatsoever. So that's another test. We'll see how long that takes as well. So that's about it. Thanks for watching and I will tell you what happens next time.